For me, culture means re reminders. Because we all need reminders. Like we all need community. We all need, you know, a tribe of friends or family or neighbors or relatives to just constantly check in with. You know, because I think sometimes when left to our own devices, I know speaking for myself, that I can really get wound up and get stressed out and tense. But when I meet somebody and, you know, we say namaste and we come together in that space of, you know, I, I recognize that you're here and I'm here and we're in the present moment. It's like, ah, I can just exhale and just remember it's not all about me. You know, there's a bigger picture. And I think for us, like being of service through music and through yoga helps us to get out of our own way and really open up and allow the energy to flow through us so that we can be of service. And, and for me, that is what spiritual culture is. It's just having people and, and sacred books and poetry and art and uh, just all these amazing reminders reminding us that, you know, underneath all these layers, essentially, there is this great divine intelligence, this great power of love that's animating everything. Sure. And I would, for myself, when I feel inspiration to go get some culture, it's because I'm too stuck in my own story. It's something about going to a museum or going to a play or going to see a live concert reconnects you with a human condition that's not just your own story but it's a common story and then it's been transformed and in, in al al alchemized i don't know if that's a word yeah that's but, good but but turned into um <laughs> art the symbiosis or the osmosis that happens when we come together it's like we're tapping into something that's, that's bigger than just us you know, I think and it takes all it takes us coming together. You know, Jesus said when when two or more come together in the name of love, it's a sacred space. It's church essentially. So, you know, for us when we do our show, we're chanting the sacred names and we're coming together and just dancing and shouting and putting our hands in the air and turning around and having fun. It's like we're literally transforming the air in and around us. And you can feel like everything tingling and vibrating with this consciousness, with this energy. And, you know, sometimes when we're going through our day, you know, day-to-day -day routine, sort of our mundane lives, sometimes we can forget and get maybe a little numb and just sort of zone out and forget that everything is like this miraculous experience called life. And there's something so electrifying and juicy and exciting about participating in culture and the feeling that you can um, create culture. You can get together with a group of people and make art and and actually feel like you're participating and making and I feel like through culture when we create music and art it's like nature is working through us to create more beauty in the world mm -hmm. so we're not separate from nature like we're a conduit you know for this creative energy to express itself in the world you know I have a, a little saying is that if you become a conduit then you can do it open up the blinds, let the sun shine in on my skin. Thanks and praise to the one who makes the world spin. With my hands and on my stay, as I say, thank you for this day. Please help me on my way. Please shine a bright light on the path that I'm on. Salutations to the glory.